This is Ronald Reagan again, and I'm very happy now to show you these young people. Since Disneyland opened, these children have been eagerly waiting to cross the moat for a wondrous trip through the Disney imagination. When you wish upon a star... Boys, this is Mr. George Gipp. Makes no who you are. Will you come in, Mystery Challenger, and sign in, please? Oh, yeah. <laughs> Anything your heart desires will come to you. Actor Ronald Reagan is elected governor of California. His landslide victory has national significance. When you wish upon a star as dreamers do. I, Ronald Reagan, do solemnly swear that I He has had a life where, where is absolutely the ratification of the American dream. It is, everything has always worked out for him. I mean, he, he's casually become an act, uh, casually took a screen test and became an actor. You know, he, he got the radio job before that in the middle of the depression after the job was supposedly filled. I mean, everything has worked out for him. There's no gloom and doom of pessimist behind that, that optimism of, of America and about uh, the goodness of human beings. Uh, he is the person that you see. I remember days when uh, uh, he would come into the dining room at Warner Brothers and uh, Humphrey Bogart was there and Errol Flynn was there and if they were seated at the table together when they would see him come in they would frequently say here comes the Boy Scout. Uh, he was that much different than, uh, than they were. Oh kid, I have my fault. But I can be as faithful and loyal as any man that ever lived. Conceive. Now wait here, both of you. Tough luck, son. I guess we can't all have charm and good looks, too. All right, men. You know who's going to be out in front tonight? Our boss, the President of the United States. Now, you guys are giving a lot of great shows, but tonight's got to be the best one of all. What if I could teach this monkey the difference between right and wrong? And Every actor has made movies knows. that he yeah, or she wished made. they didn't make. No. I talk to Paul Newman about the silver chalice someday, and you know he ha hangs his head in shame. Uh, you make movies because that's your work, and sometimes the movies are good, sometimes they're not. Everybody was used to seeing him in the theater as the good guy. Maybe he lost, but he was always the good guy. And he made 58 movies, and he was the villain, and only one. I like it here. Go on, get moving. I said, I like it here. Well, I can change that in a hurry. There are some people who just don't make very good bad guys, and I don't think he did. In fact, I don't think he did very well in The Killers, either. Um, I remember when I went to see that picture, and it was in the, the 60s, and it was just around the time that he was running for governor. And uh, in here was this, this heavy, you know, in the, in the picture, and people in the audience were kind of restless in their seats because they obviously did not identify with this at all. He wanted certain kinds of scripts, and he, and, he, and he didn't get them. And so it was kind of a process that uh, I think he would have inevitably left acting anyway. We're on a Death Valley day set, water's not handy. Or Exo Waterless Hand Cleaner really cleans up for us. But he was becoming interested, very interested in public life. And the General Electric, uh, although he didn't know it then, the GE Theater, proved to be a, a really good transition for him because it kept him in acting. Well, and, you know, the old joke, uh, somebody tells Jack Warner that Ronald Reagan's gonna run for governor. No, he says, no, uh, uh, Bob Cummings for governor, Ronald Reagan for best friend. Vote for me if you believe in yourself. If you believe in your right to control your own destiny and plan your own life. I've asked him many times, and he's, he said that he never had any uh, uh, idea that he was going to be president of the United States or anything like that. I have asked the cabinet and my staff a question, and now I put the same question to all of you. If not us, who? And if not now, when? The president has incredible, uh, innate talent for timing and an unbelievable ear for what it is that people are thinking and for what they're feeling. The old Hollywood was a magic place where dreams were put on celluloid 
for all the world to see. It was also a place where a man could be playing second banana to a chimpanzee one day <laughs> and become president of the United States on another day. Right. Party, I feel swell. When you wish upon a star, your dream.